Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. We have a new video today and as you've seen in the title of this video, I will be talking about how I started a new life in another country with basically no money, no job, no friends. I'm going to share with you my personal experience and hopefully may matutunan kayo dito sa video na to about my life and maybe if you're planning to move to another country or here in London then maybe makatulong I don't know and for you guys who are new here to my channel I will be speaking in maybe English and Filipino as we go along this video so if you don't know I'm Filipina and I currently live here in London. Before we proceed with the video, I would appreciate if you consider subscribing to my channel and also like this video. So we're gonna start um, pag-usapan natin kung paano ako nag-start ng panibagong buhay dito sa London. So if you guys haven't seen um, my first video, this is basically a part two. I made um, a video previously about my experience as to how I was able to move from the Philippines here to London and today's video is a part two where I'm going to talk about how I started a new life here. Maraming nangangarap talaga makapag abroad and akala ng iba magiging madali ang lahat once nakatungtong ka na dun sa bansa na kung saan mo ginustong pumunta. But let me just tell you it's not easy. Okay, it may be easy for some people who have family that are able to support them financially, but in my case, although meron akong pamilya dito, my mom and my dad, they weren't really like well off para kaya akong tustusan and my family. Kasi if you don't know, I have two kids and I have a partner. I have a different case, I would say. When I first arrived here in the UK, Meron akong matutuluyan. So just to clarify, I had a place to stay which is yung place ng parents ko. So yung mommy and daddy ko, nakat meron silang sarili nilang flat. But that flat was inside a, a care home. So they don't get like caregivers or anything. It's just a place where these, you know, group of groups of people can live. So dun sila nakatira. I was allowed to stay with them for three months only actually but umabot ako ng mas matagal but that was the plan i would stay with them in the beginning until you know i get settled and then i could eventually find my own place pinaka importante is that you have to have a place to stay and in my case i had a place to stay in the beginning but i had to move out after when i moved here i actually had no money in my bank to be honest, I had no money. Like, I had like pocket money for my travel, like to buy me food or something like that. But I really didn't have any money in my bank, like savings. I didn't have that. So, nung pumunta ako dito, I really took a huge risk. Ang bitbit -bit ko lang talaga is lakas ng loob. So, I only had that courage. And if you know me, I'm that type of person. Malakas yung loob ko. Although, syempre, Inside, I was still scared. Of course, this is a new country. I've never been here before. I have no friends and I only know two people, which is my mom and my dad. The scariest part for me was to look for a job, make new friends, and just learn how to live here independently. I had a family to support back in the Philippines. So, na iwan sa Pilipinas yung dalawang anak ko at si CJ, yung partner ko. And of course, he couldn't do it alone. Although, may trabaho siya. Alam naman natin, hindi ganong kadali sa Pilipinas para isang income lang. So, I had to find a job as quickly as possible. Like, let me tell you, when I came here, I only took a break of maybe like two, three, three days, if I can remember, but I was already looking for a job um, within the first week of me staying here. Kasi ang tumatakbo sa isip ko, kailangan ko magpadala. So the soonest na magkaroon ako ng trabaho, then the better. Yung tourist side of me wasn't even there yet. For me, I was like, I I'll be able to explore this, um, this place eventually, but first thing, I have to find a job. Because of course, I needed my own 
income and I, I couldn't rely on them forever. Like I said, yung magulang ko naman, they're not well off. And they were only living through a fixed income. So, meron lang silang nakukuhang pension. And of course, that wasn't gonna be enough to, to help me and, you know, help my family, sorry. So yeah, as I was saying, I had to find a job as quickly as possible. So, wala akong pinipiling trabaho at the time. I was like, kahit ano a-applyan ko. I was gonna accept anything, really. So, I went online. I, uh, I um, created a profile. Um, and then, job search ng job search ako every day. And actually, parang wala ata akong ginawa the whole day. Um, I remember that time, I didn't do anything but just job search. Siyempre, nagpahinga din naman ako. Like, there were times I would FaceTime my family back home. But whenever I had nothing to do, I was looking for a job constantly. And lang nasa isip ko, kahit anong trabaho, di ba ganun naman tayo mga Pilipino na kahit anong trabaho, basta may, may maipapadala ka, then that's gonna be fine. And I remember, even my mom was, you know, talking to her friends na, baka mahanapan nyo si Hannah ng trabaho o maipasok nyo siya, ganyan-ganyan. I, I was also looking for jobs related to my experience. So, I was looking for something in um, collections um, or even call centers because that was my experience in the Philippines. So, I did get an interview for a company. I was so excited. Like, I was like, kailangan kong pagbutihin kasi dito nakasalalay yung mga susunod na araw. I mean, Ayo kung magpatumpik tumpik. Kasi I my time was running. I knew that I had limited time only to stay with my parents. And in order for me to move, um, to be able to find a place of my own, I need to save up. Kasi you have to pay for a deposit and um the rent and all that. So I was like, and at the same time, I also had to send money. So if I were to earn something, malaking portion na nipapadala sa Pilipinas and whatever is left is for me. And then i sa save ko para sa pag pag rent ko in the future. So, I got that interview. I didn't know what what the result was going to be like cuz that was the first interview. And the thing is, syempre Pilipino ako, sanay ako na magtagalog. Although nagtatrabaho, nagtatrabaho ako sa mga call centers before. My first language is still Filipino. So, I still Tagalog and sobra sobra yung kabako kasi this was my first time that I was gonna mingle with other people, with foreigners like British people or English. And I was so 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 nervous, but in, my, in the back of my head, I was like, kaya mo yan, push mo yan, wag mo nang isipin kung ano yung mga iisipin nila kung mali ba yung grammar mo, kung mali ba yung accent mo. Hindi ko na yun inintindi, basta ang sabi ko sa sarili ko. Basta tama yung mga sagot ko. And, you know, just be confident. And that's basically what I did. I was also given a chance na makapag-try as a server sa hotel. Nag-trial ako. That was a courtesy to uh, my mom's friend na ipasok niya ako doon. But it was so draining for me. Hindi ko talaga kinayon kasi I've never had any experience na magtrabaho sa hospitality industry. So, nabigla ako. But luckily, etong trabaho na, na in, kung saan ako in-interview, I got the job and I was like, whoa, that was the first interview. I didn't even have any chance na ma interview ng ibang companies and I got accepted. Like, I was so, I couldn't believe it. You offered me the job, I'll take it. I had no idea what the, the basic salary here, what the minimum wage was here. Basta, I said, when they offered me the job, I said yes. So that was already one tick of my list. Job search, done. Now I just need to wait for my first day and then just prove myself that I can do it. So that time came that I started the job and then the, then came the, the next hurdle, which was, of course, having no friends, not knowing anyone. And that, for me, was really, really hard. I was like, kasi sa Pilipinas, andun lahat, andun lahat ng kaibigan ko, um, all my family is there, andun lahat ng kakilala ko, wala akong kakilala dito. So, it was very hard for me. Um, and I think that was one of the reasons why I was quiet. So, if you would ask the people that I've worked with before, they would probably say that I was quiet, that I was very shy. I was very shy, but then 
it was it was um a huge adjustment for me but when it came to doing the job of course i could do the job because i knew how to do it i had the experience and of course i wanted to prove myself that i can do it that i can i can work with these people so of course i had to show them what i can do but it was very hard for me to socialize hirap na hirap akong makipag-usap like always um it was lingering in the back of my head like they're probably judging the way i speak baka pinagtatawanan nila ako baka um baka ayaw nila sa akin kasi pilipina ako because i'm asian they don't like me you know stuff like that and i think it's it's a common thing that um someone would go through especially if you're moving to a new country to a country where you've never been and like i said you don't know anyone so it was quite a, um it was quite hard for me to warm up and socialize and engage with people that was challenging for me like every day my fear was talking to people kahit naman marunong ako mag english natatakot ako i mean that was one thing that really held me back i was like maybe if I was more confident, kung wala na lang akong pakialam, magsalita na lang kung kung ano yung kaya ko, and just hope that they accept me, madali sana. But um, I'm happy that I met a few people who, you know, who actually kind of helped me and, you know, I get to talk to them daily. So I kind of came out of my shell a little bit. So yeah, that was one thing. And even now, I've been here now for five years. I won't say that I've got a lot of close friends. Like, I know people, of course, I work with people and I meet people day to day and I meet new faces. And I would, I only have like a couple, a few people, people that I'm actually close with, but that's okay with me. I know I will meet more people and I'll make more friends. And even now, I am still trying to come out of my shell i'm still working on that <laughs> and actually this you this whole youtube thing is one way of me para ma express ko yung sarili ko ewan ko i mean this is kind of therapeutic thinking that i'm talking to someone actually while i'm filming i always imagine someone in front of me i think that's just how this works and this is one way for me to also overcome my fear and overcome all my negative thoughts <laughs> then the time came that i had to move out i had no clue i had no information nobody helped me look for a place nobody told me what to do so lahat ay, ay inaral ko lang at lakas ng loob lang so naghanap ako ng mga room for rent and naghanap ako yung kaya lang sa budget ko kasi of course dahil nagpapadala pa nga ako sa Pilipinas. So lahat talaga inasa ko sa Google. Talagang inaral ko yan. And I think it was also helpful asking, you know, yung mga katrabaho ko about um, okay ba to or kung paano gagawin ko. And they kind of gave me some tips. So I went to a lot of properties and I ended up getting a room very far from my parents. So, nakatira kami sa East London and nakuha kong room is sa East London din pero malayo siya. But that was the the only place that I really liked and yung kaya, yung ma-afford ko. So, that was also one thing off my list nung may nahanap po kong place successful. The next struggle was how I was going to live with these people kasi yung nahanap kong room of course nakatira ko sa isang bahay um kasama yung may-ari ng bahay yung asawa niya at yung mga anak and that was another challenge for me was to um, talk to these people every day i don't really like small talk i don't think anyone likes small talk baka mayro mga taong mahilig yung makichika ako kasi hindi ko masyadong gustong chumika especially lalo na kung di ko na makilala yung tao and of course i had to overcome that Kailangan kong makisama and I still was learning how to be independent. So one way for, for me to kind of make it easier for me was also to talk to the landlord kung kanino ko nakatira. Kasi syempre, he shares his own um, experiences. We talk about anything. We talk about his family. We talk about my family. So that was one way for me actually ma-practice yung social, social skills ko dito. 
so yeah that is the story so i had no job i had no friends and i had no money to begin with i i managed to do all those things just with um confidence with courage really i'm proud of where i am right now at kung ano ang mga nagawa ko without anyone's help so of course, nakapunta ko dito with the help of my my parents. Like I said, you can watch my first video about how I was able to move here. But then when I got here, it was all down to me. That is one thing that you need to know when you are moving to another country is that you need to have courage and you need to be strong. Because another thing that you're going to deal with is homesickness. So totoo ang homesickness maybe i can do another video just talking about how i dealt with homesickness kung gusto niyo malaman yan let me know down on the comments and i'll make a video about that but homesickness is also one of the things that many filipinos living or working abroad deal with a lot and i i was one of them you you have to get over it you'll get used to this the new place eventually you, you'll get used to the new lifestyle and everything else kasi ganun naman eh ganun ang buhay so it's basically parang para akong nagsimula from bata and then naggo-grow hanggang ngayon naggo-grow pa rin ako my next goal was to bring my family here so, alam nyo naman, if you've seen my other videos, you know that my partner and my kids are now here. And I'll make a, another video, which is a part 3 of this series. I don't know if kung tatawagay ba natin tong series. But I'll make a part 3 so that I can also share with you how I was able to bring them here. And I'm very, very happy that they're here now. Hindi na ako homesick. I mean, homesick pa rin kahit paano. Dahil namimiss ko naman yung mga kaibigan ko at lahat ng nakasanayan ko sa Pilipinas. I am more comfortable here now that I have my family. So I really hope that this kind of gave you an insight. If you're ever planning to move to another country, may it be here in the UK or somewhere else. The only thing that I could say that will really help you is to have the courage and to be strong to face anything. Si Pag, basically, kailangan mong pagbutihin talaga. Kasi when you get to another country, you're on your own. There's no one else to help you but yourself. So you have to make sure that you are doing a good job and make the right decisions. And always look back at where you started. So that's gonna, it's gonna make you more grounded. Yan ang masasabi ko. So yeah, I, I really hope that this video helped you and I hope you enjoyed. If you have any comments, um, anything you want to say to me, feel free to write them down below. And like this video if you enjoyed it. And oh, subscribe to my channel, of course. Um, I'd really, really appreciate if you do. And yeah, I will see you on my next video. Bye!